Up next, Derek Poundstone going up against Brian Shaw. You're not really opponents in something like this, though, are you? It is man against machine. You against your mind. You simply have to block out the fact that there is a 950-pound car trying to separate your shoulder blades. 30 seconds is the benchmark. It must seem like 30 minutes to these fellas. We saw how good Brian Shaw's grip was in that first event, the medley that he won. No problems for him there. Poundstone dropped it. Both getting up to the 30-second mark, and that's good. And look at that face of determination. Well, but it's Poundstone that plays the long game. He went from full to empty. Did Shaw, but Poundstone hung on for nearly 45 seconds. Yeah, you could be happy with that. Well, he's right back in the picture now. Not to make the top six, he was pretty much assured of that anyway. But this puts him very much in contention for a top four spot, and that's what this is really all about. Mark Felix, who knows all about a top four finish. He's in the mixer again here at Mohegan Sun. Jason Bergman. He's going to really have to have a very, very good deadlift here if he wants to make the cut. And it's all about the mental games, isn't it? You stand there and you tell yourself everything's all right, but it's not. It's hurting. He's got all the physical attributes, Mark Felix, for doing a good time here. He's got huge, huge hands. Bergman, a much smaller man. But you're right, it is all about mental state, zoning out. Look for the wobbles. The eyes are a giveaway. When the head drops, you're hurting. But that's not bad. Good enough for a top six? Probably not. Felix, good enough for maximum points. You better believe it. And he's got more in the tank. Now, he doesn't want to overdo this. He knows what the time is. He knows he's in maximum points at the moment. How much do you hold on and push Pujanovski? Well, he wants the minute, doesn't he? Has he got it? Oh, it was close. 58 dead, and you just got the feeling if there'd be more on it, he could have cracked the minute. That was a bit special from Mark Felix. Well, that really puts the pressure on Terry and Pudzianowski now. And just look at Bergman on his knees, looking up in admiration, as if to say, man, how are you doing that? Which is probably what Pudzianowski was thinking, too. I've got a feeling, though, in Marius, no matter how many fans he's got, in this arena, blowing his horn. He isn't going to push himself too far. Once he gets to around 40 seconds, Marius might decide, you know what, that's enough, I just need a top four finish. But he is such a competitor, has his big tell. Isn't it amazing these two get thrown together once again? Look at Terry looking over at Marius, waiting for him to go first. It doesn't matter, of course, your time starts once you've stood up with it, but uh, perhaps this gives him a psychological advantage. As Pudzianowski will start shaking first here. Is Marius hurting already, or is that a little bit of kidology from him? Marius was grimacing around the 10-second mark there. Terry's got the shakes. He's trying to look cool, though, isn't he? He's trying not to shake. Well, this is a good recovery for both of them. A really strong in 26 for Pudzianowski. And he wasn't faking that. And Terry, <laughs> well, he's beaten Marius. It's like his own little personal duel there. It's just Terry Hollands against Maris Budzianowski here. Terry, Terry wanted to win this one badly, and he regrouped well after that wobble. Marius never seemed to be quite on track. Mark Felix is probably thinking, what's the matter with you guys? Now, you're the man, you're the man who won that event, and that has propelled you in the first place, hasn't it? That's taken you above everybody. How's it feeling? I just feel great at the moment, you know. You have to have a strong, strong grip. We have a strong tendon and mental strength to do something like this. It's, it's fantastic. Mark Felix takes the victory by almost 15 seconds in the deadlift hold, whilst Hollands takes eighth. Now, not only have both men made the top six cut, but either one of them could win the whole event. Mark Felix is in the lead and Hollands is in second place. And it isn't often you say that Maris Pudzianowski is down in third. One point behind Big Terry.